decades in this town. When they talked about putting metal detectors under the dome, the feeling was this was the people's house and people's homes don't have metal detectors. But times have changed. There have been a lot of very public tragedies uh, out there in schools and public buildings and malls. That's John Trescott, who was vice chair of the state capitol commission, when a more serious look at preventing firearms in the capitol actually began. Metal detectors could have produced long lines like they do at airports. But now, under this new proposal, the new technology is like going to the store. People can walk through at normal speed and it detects, it will go off if somebody has a weapon on their body and it will, it, the technology helps law enforcement know who has the weapon and where it is. 73% of all state capitals have some form of keeping guns out of the building. And the decision today by the Capital Commission here asking for bids, it will be expensive. Given staffing and equipment, maintenance of the equipment, that we were probably looking at $5 million. In addition to the walkthrough devices, the state also wants to install artificial intelligence. And they're talking to Zero Eyes, which provides that, like they did at the Oxford schools after the shootings there. This Republican lawmaker, who chaired a House panel on school shootings, however, opposes this proposal. And he says if he can, he'll try to block it. I think this isn't the way to go about keeping us safe, making this a um, kind of a fortress um, isn't what we want our kids to experience. Will you look at ways to try to stop this if you can, if there's a vehicle to do that? I would. The State Capital Commission expects to see some bids within a week or so. As for attempts to stop this, stay tuned. In Lansing, Tim Skubik, Fox 2 News.